Mm. Today on the Thought of Food family, we're eating Pecorino Toscano. Pecorino Toscano. That's right, the sheepish way in Tuscany from this book that we're eating our way through, 1,000 Foods to Eat Before You Die. Pecorino Toscano, which is this lovely Italian cheese. So have you guys ever had a sheep cheese before? Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I actually don't know either. Yes. Um, I did read that the rind was rubbed with olive oil, but I'm not sure that this is one where you eat the rind. I read that you don't eat it. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down the side. From what I've read, you don't, you know, you can grate it on things. You can shave it on things. It smells kind of like a Parmesan or a... Or you could have it on a cheese board like we're trying it. We'd love to know from our viewers if you've had this cheese and what you use it for. It's an interesting texture because sometimes when you get these hard cheeses and you try to cut them, I like to do a lot of charcuterie. Um, they kind of crumble and you just have to sort of chunk off pieces, but this is cutting pretty nicely. So we're going to give it a try. And we have some walnuts and some apples and grapes and a little bit of summer sausage. We should try it by itself first. Mm. It's, it's very sharp, mm. but definitely not as bad. It's still the jaw. <laughs> you didn't like that. Nope, it's too disgusting. It's not disgusting, but it just kind of just hits you. And then, like, it kind of lingers, but I like it. This tastes like dirt. Hmm. Why don't you try it with a walnut? It doesn't taste it's bad, simple. but it doesn't taste like... It doesn't... I'm... Um, it's not like gross, but it tastes bad. Hmm. Does it taste like any other cheeses you've had? No. No, I'll try it with the walnuts. Yeah, I like that. A walnut with cheese is interesting but good. It's a better combination? Yeah. I'm making a small sandwich. Like that goes on top? The powdery kind? Yeah, it is. Very no, similar. No, it's nothing like it. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, because Dad's coming. It's not good. Not too good. Walnuts are good. Try it. Try it with that. Uh, the cheese is fine. It's growing on Talon. He was not really looking forward to this after the blue cheese, but he was like, oh no, more cheese. But... You said it was good with the extra things? Yeah. And um, I think that it's better if you take small bites, not mm. big bites. Yeah, it's a strong cheese, so small that's fair. Small bites. I that's actually like it. I, I think it's, um, sorry, Miles, what were you saying? Not like nibbles, mm. not like smaller bites than just eating it in one bite. Because it's too powerful. All right, so Pecorino Toscano. Yeah, very sharp, strong cheese. Um, I was thinking, you know, people talk about grating it on pasta or slicing it on salads and just how hard it was. I was thinking it was gonna be like a Parmesan, but it's really not. It's just a nice tasting cheese. Maybe kind of lies flavor-wise somewhere between cheddar and Parmesan, kind of in that kind of realm you think between those two but it's really nice really good you tried it with an apple yeah i just like the texture was like the mix was kind of weird but it kind of just blends the flavors and it doesn't the apple kind of like adds more sweetness but also subtracts like the strongness of the cheese which i really like
I wasn't squeamish about trying a sheep's milk, but I was kind of trying to consider, have I tried that before? I know I've tried goat cheese, which I can be on the fence about, but um, I actually think it's milder than I expected. It definitely has that punch. It's a, you can tell that it's aged and um, it's a little bit goes a long way, I could say. Um, but I think this is a great cheese to have on a cheese board. It's kind of cool looking, you know, with the sort of marbly rind. And I liked the way that it cut. It didn't make a big old mess, which sometimes can happen on board. So I would say add this to your charcut. All right, you guys got any final thoughts on Pecorino no, Toscano? Not really. No. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like dirt. Um, tastes like dirt. Actually, I yeah, I wasn't looking forward to this. I don't like those extra <coughs> cheeses, but right now I'm actually loving this. I just press yourself. Like, I haven't tried it with a grape yet, but I've tried it with like everything else, and it's really good. Any final thoughts, Miles? No. All right, well, that's Pecorino Toscano. Let us know if you've tried this Italian cheese. Please like and subscribe. Watch us journey through this fun book of foods. Until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.